Welcome to the new episode of How to Electronics. In this episode, we'll make a LoRa based web server using ESP32 board and LoRa module SX1278. We'll first assemble the center circuit on breadboard and then we'll assemble the receiver circuit on breadboard. After assembling, we'll simply do the coding part. We'll first make a HTML web page and an image as well. And using SPI FFS system will upload the HTML web page and image to the LoRa module. And then using the IP address that is displayed on serial monitor or on OLED screen, we'll simply visit to the web browser. And then here you can monitor the temperature, humidity, RSSI, the last receipt packet that is the packet which was sent lastly. So let's get started with the project. I would like to inform you the official sponsor of this video is Next PCB. Next PCB is one of the biggest PCB manufacturer company in China. Currently, they are having the two different offer. The first offer is the 10% discount on all the assembly service. So for that, just collect the point and then go to the account. Here you can see there is a 10% discount code. Using this discount, you can order any amount of PCB with 10% discount. Now the second offer is the infrared thermometer that cost around $50 for the fight back of COVID-19. So here is the description of the next PCB. They are the biggest PCB manufacturer company in China. They make all the different type of PCB boards with all the assembly services. So you can order the PCB service from the next PCB website here. Now let us see the components required for the project. For the center part, we need ESP32 board. And similarly, we need any of the LoRa module. In my case, I am using SX1278 and we need any sensor. I am using DHT11 humidity and temperature sensor. On the receiver part, we need a microcontroller. Again, I used ESP32 board and again we used a LoRa receiver module. That is, I used SX1278 and then I used an OLED display to display the IP address. So now let's see the circuit. So here is the center circuit. The LoRa module is an SPI module, so we need to connect to the SPI pin. On the receiver part, we have also connected the LoRa to the SPI pin of ESP32. On the center, we have used DST11. On the receiver, we used OLED display. So here you can see, this is the center circuit. The center circuit is having LoRa module SX1278 and DST11 humidity and temperature sensor assembled on breadboard along with ESP32. We are powering the device using micro USB data cable. On the receiver side, you can again see ESP32, LoRa module SX1278 and then I2C 0.96 inch OLED display. So here is the code but before that we need to install certain plugin to the system. So to install the plugin we need SPI FFS file. So here you can see there is a no option of loading the sketch file. So what you need to do is you need to download two files. This is the ESP32 FS 1.0. So you can download it from the link in the description after downloading simply extract it. Once you extract it use get a folder. So cut or copy this folder, go to the C drive, go to the program files to go to the Arduino location and here you will get a tools folder. So simply paste it over here. So when you open this folder, you will get a tool folder and here you will get a Java file that is jar file. So now create a HTML page. So for that you need a code. I have given the link of this HTML code in the description. You can copy the code, simply open your notepad and then paste over here. So here you can see we are measuring temperature, humidity, RSSI and the timestamp that is the time for the receiving and sending of the data. Okay. Now save this file as the name index.html. Always remember the file extension should be .html. So done. So you can see a Google Chrome file with index name is created. Similarly, 
you need one of the image you can use any image and the name of that image should be main image now create a folder the folder name should be data now in this folder just copy the index.html file and main.image now close your Arduino ID if any of the you know file are open cut or copy this data folder go to the Arduino directory where the Arduino sketch is located here you can see the sketch on the receiver side okay so just copy it on the receiver sketch and paste it over here so in this sketch you have a LoRa you know file receiver you know file and then sketch restart your Arduino ID you can see ESP32 sketch data upload option right now so for getting this option we have done this long process now rest of the part I will explain you below okay so what you do is after doing it just simply click on sketch part upload part so in some of the ESP32 board you need to press the reset button to make it upload so SPIFF file system is getting uploaded so once the image and HTML page is uploaded to the ESP32 board you will get the message like uploaded so you can see here SPIFF image uploaded now let us move to the programming part so we have transmitter and receiver code so we'll get SPI and LoRa library so we have DST library with DST pin connected to the GPIO4 and we have defined SS, RST and DIO0 pin so similarly the frequency is defined as 43 megahertz for Asia you need to change the frequency if you are in Europe or if you are in America so we have initialized some of the variables and a string for holding the data so it will just start the LoRa module and will start the counter as well so using this function we are just checking whether the DST11 is having a proper connection or not here we are reading the temperature and humidity data from DST11 sensor okay under the board receive function we are sending the entire data using concatenation function that is we are combining all the values and using a single variable to send all this data using LoRa begin function and LoRa print message we are sending the data to the receiver using the transmitter this will print the data whatever send and under the set of function we are initializing the certain variables serial begin DST11 and everything under the loop function we are just simply sending data again and again on the receiver side you need ESP async web server to make a web server SPIFFS.app is used for uploading the data to the file system and as I explained earlier okay so SPI and LoRa library is still the same this libraries are for OLED display using NTP client and UDP, Wi-Fi UDP we are getting the time from the internet okay we are defining the again SS, RST and DIO0 pin again the frequency is defined these are the OLED pin defined okay change the SSID and password from here uh, we are defining NTP client to get the time here again we are defining some string to hold the variables data and here the LoRa message in terms of temperature and humidity reading and LoRa message is defined and and then we have again created a sync web server with the port 80 we have defined uh, instances for OLED display so here are the variables that will be passed after the message is received from the LoRa transmitter so this will start the OLED display and it will just check OLED display is connected or not and display some messages on the screen so LoRa is started here and we are just checking the counter as I explained earlier so under the void connect Wi-Fi section we are connecting the ESP32 to Wi-Fi and we are printing the IP address of the module that is local IP address under the get LoRa data we are reading the data from the transmitter part that is the data whatever is received will be printed using this functions under the below part you can see we are just printing the LoRa SSI and then here we are getting the time that is whenever the data is received the time will be printed on web server so we are getting the uh, formatted type from network time protocol that is NTP client under the setup function we have initialized all the variables so here is the SPIFF file system so on the server that is web server the file system will upload the HTML page and the image that we uploaded early okay so that's all from the coding part you still have any doubt you can simply comment down in the 
comment section below. You can simply upload the code to the both the ESP32 module that is the transmitter and the receiver part. On the receiver file first upload the sketch file and then upload the code. Now after uploading the code you can simply open the serial monitor. So once you open the serial monitor you can see the humidity temperature data along with the packet number is sent by the transmitter over the receiver. On the receiver side we are reading the temperature, humidity, LoRa packet, RSSI and time and date. So how do we get the IP address? Simply place the reset button on the ESP32 board. So once you press the reset button you will get the IP address. So copy this IP address, open any of the web browser you like. In my case I am using Google Chrome. So once you open the web browser you can see a LoRa receiver displaying the temperature, humidity, RSSI, time and date. So simply on the receiver side when it is connected to the Wi-Fi it will start displaying the local IP address. So you don't need a computer or a serial monitor for this. Simply the receiver IP is displayed on the OLED screen. So simply visit on your mobile browser on your computer browser. So you can see on my mobile phone the temperature, humidity, LoRa, RSSI, the last detail receive packet is displayed. Thank you for watching. Please like this video and share this to your friends.